Hey there, nature enthusiasts! Ever wonder what's happening inside your birdhouse when you're not looking? Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a birdhouse camera on your MacBook and live stream all the exciting avian action right from your computer. In recent years, more people are discovering the joys of observing birds and animals in their natural habitat. This growing interest can be attributed to several factors, including an increased awareness of environmental conservation, a desire for outdoor recreation activities, and the ease of access to information through digital platform. Bird watching, in particular, has gained widespread appeal due to its accessibility to people of all ages and backgrounds. The calming and therapeutic benefits of immersing oneself in nature also contribute to the rising enthusiasm for observing birds and wildlife. And this trend reflects a broader society shift toward appreciating and preserving the natural world. So to set up a complete birdhouse camera system, you'll need essential equipment, including a MacBook, a bird box camera, a reliable internet connection, and a specific software called VMS. This combination of hardware and software allows you to seamlessly observe and record activity inside a birdhouse. The MacBook computer serves as the central control hub, providing the interface for viewing and managing the camera feed. And a compatible birdhouse camera is the core component, capturing high-quality footage of bird behaviors. A stable internet connection ensures real-time monitoring and remote access to the camera's feed. The specific software that we mentioned facilitates the integration of the camera with your MacBook, enabling you to customize setting and efficiently manage the capture video. So together, these elements create a comprehensive birdwatching setup, enhancing your ability to observe and learn about avian life in your backyard. So in order to observe our avian friends, you'll need to choose a high-quality camera so you can have clear and detailed footage in any context, be it photography, videography, or civilians. And the importance of this decision lies in the precision and richness of the images or video that capture. A high-quality camera ensures sharpness, clarity, and vibrant color allowing you to capture the fine details that might be missed by a lower-grade camera. So whether you're documenting wildlife, capturing special moments, or conducting research, a superior bird box camera significantly enhances the overall quality of your visual. And it's not only provide a more immersive experience for viewers, but also offer valuable data and insights for analysis and understanding. So as you can see, I already connected the PoE Birdbox camera that's inside the birdhouse with our Green Backyard application on my phone. And next, I'm going to show you how to use VMS and view the video footage on your MacBook. When it comes to managing your Birdbox camera system, a VMS video management software is a powerful tool that streamlines the process. VMS is designed to handle video feed, ensuring efficient monitoring and control of your Birdbox camera. And with user-friendly interface and advanced functionality, it allows you to view, record, and manage multiple Birdbox camera feed simultaneously. So this is what the VMS looks like. Click on it and create your own username and password and then hit login. After you're logged in, go to device manager. Hit menu add. We need to change the login type to cloud ID since the video is streamlined through internet. And where can we find the cloud ID? Let's go back to our phone application. At upper right corner, the setting, hit on it under about we have the serial number just copy it and paste it anywhere so you can see the complete serial number then type it into the cloud id 
It's kind of long, so please bear with me. So now I have typed in the complete serial number. It will ask for your username and password. If you set a password for your camera, you can just type it in. If not, you can just leave it blank and hit OK. Give it a little bit of time to connect. Now, as you can see, it is connected. Go back home. Under monitor, we have our camera over here. Right click it, hit extra stream, because this main stream, and we're using the extra stream to view the video. Now you can see we are on the same channel. I'm going to move the camera so you can see So there you have it, you already connected to your MacBook. Not only you can monitor video feed, you can also play back the videos. Go to playback option. Check the camera that you want to view. Type in your day and time that you want to search and hit search. And the recorded video will list it here since I don't have any, that's why it's blank. And you can also change the record configuration under device configuration and hit on the camera. You can change a lot of things like the sensitivity, the lights mode, and also the system configuration, the language, the time, and also alarm configuration. Click motion detection. and also the record setting. So you can pretty much do everything on your MacBook using the VMS. So that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment below and our team of experts will get back to you as soon as possible. And until next, happy bird watching.